So in this video, we will show you how to publish in Awingu a full desktop. So uh, previously, we have connected Awingu to your uh, Active Directory. We have specified that specific groups or uh, administrator in Awingu that specific groups can log in to Awingu. So it's important that if you want to make a, a modification to the Awingu configuration, you log in with the user, which is part of any of those uh, groups that have been specified as being uh, capable of having admin privileges in Awingu. Uh, again, opening the system settings. And before we can add a full desktop in Awingu, we need to make a list of all the servers where Awingu can connect to via RDP. This is done under Manage Application Servers. So if you go over there, you will see the, the list of all the application servers or all the systems where Awingu can uh, connect to. For the moment, the list is, uh, is empty, but there is a possibility to add, of course, uh, uh, servers or desktops manually or to import them from uh, Active Directory. Again, as previously with, with the labels, uh, if you want to do the import from Active Directory, it's important that you have specified that uh, bind user and bind password in the uh, uh, domain settings uh, previously. Um, I'm going to click on import from Active Directory. And uh, as you can see, I have three servers in my, uh, in my uh, Active Directory, which are known. It's my Active Directory uh, itself, and I have two terminal servers. So I'm just going to import them uh, both at the same time. So I'm just going to select both of them. And then I'm going to specify that they, that they are enabled, which means that Awingu can send uh, connections to them. Uh, Awingu is also asking the maximum connection. So the systems I'm connecting to are Windows Server 2019, in, uh, in this case with Microsoft Terminal Server installed on it. So I can connect with, uh, with as many users uh, as I have licenses for. So uh, I can, for example, connect with 40 uh, users in, uh, in my case to each of the application servers. If you would connect to a system which don't have a Microsoft Terminal Server, activated on it, for example, to my Active Directory or to a, a standalone a Windows system, then if it's a server OS, you can connect maximum with two at the same time. If you're connecting to like a Windows 10 or a Windows 7 device, then the, the maximum number of connections is, a, is one. The other settings can be left uh, as they are. Um, we're also going to show you later on how to connect Awingo to an RDS broker. So this is just connecting to the session hosts. Um, uh, for the broker setup, please have a look at the, at the specific video uh, for that, for, uh, for more details uh, on how to do this. But in this simple uh, example, we're going to connect directly on the, uh, on the session hosts uh, itself. So now I have uh, two servers in my uh, application server list. Uh, the next thing I need to do is actually publish them as an, uh, as an application. And to do that, I have to go to manage uh, applications. This is the list of all the available applications on the uh, Awingo appliance for the moment. As you can see, there are some of the, the built-in uh, apps which are visible. If I would like to add my full desktop, I have to go to Add and click on uh, Desktop Application. As you can see, there are uh, other options. Uh, we, we can add an, uh, a remote application or an RDP application. I'm going to explain you in, in the next video uh, what this is and, and what the difference between the two. Uh, but we can also add uh, web applications or reverse proxy web applications. Also for those, there is a separate video that go into more detail. For this video, we will show you how to add a full desktop uh, in Awingu. So I'm going for the, the desktop uh, option. Um, Awingu is asking me a, a name. So this is the, the, the name that we will, will, be dis, uh, will be displayed on the, on the login portal of Awingu. So once you're logged in, this will be the, the display name. So let's call this a uh, full desktop. Um, then uh, Awingu is going to ask who can see this uh, full desktop. So either I could, for example, say again, everyone can see this full desktop. So everyone who's logged in can, uh, can see the desktop. Or I can specify it to only specific, uh, specific groups. So in my case, I don't want that the full desktop is available for everyone. I just want to make it available for the, the training admins and, for example, for my own uh, user. Um, context policy labels, uh, you have noticed these already a few times, so they were there on the login page. They are here again. Uh, this is also a separate uh, topic that I'm going to discuss uh, later on, but uh, Awingu has the, the knowledge of um, context, so we cannot only restrict applications or drives or features or logins to specific users and, uh, and groups, but also to a specific context. So we could, for example, say that uh, you're only allowed to start this full desktop if, for example, you are in Belgium, like is my case, or if you're in the US or if you're in uh, in, in UK, so we, we can make, uh, we can make uh, for example, specific applications only available on the, the context. Going to explain that in, a, in another video, for now, just leave the, the context labels uh, empty. The last thing which is important is to which system do you want to connect? So in my case, I would like to connect to uh, one of those uh, application servers I have uh, 
specified earlier. So I would like to connect to this uh, application server uh, zero. So if I click on, uh, on add, uh, it's going to be added in the list. If I uh, log out uh, from the system and I log back in, uh, it will refresh my, uh, my configuration and you will see that I have a, a full desktop uh, available. If I click on this uh, full desktop, Awingo will make an RDP connection to the, to the backend system and it will start my, uh, my full desktop.